Hi there, this is Magical Marlena, and I'm so glad that you joined me here at this beautiful moment in time. The first thing that I want to bring forth today is we are going to manifest together an extra $100 of fun money. Okay, it is going to come in in a positive way for you and me this month. Unexpected blessing. And we are just open to receive it. It's going to be an exciting moment in time when you didn't expect it to show up. It's just going to show up when you're not focused on the lack of money, the want of money, the desire of money. Okay, that's when the universe, boom, brings it to your door. So it could come in by a gift. It could come in as a bonus. It could come in as something worth $100. You could win the money, find the money. We don't care what way it comes in. We're just open to receiving it. In the background, you will hear um, my chakra bowls playing and... I am balancing your chakras right now. We all have to get grounded into Mother Earth. On the screen, you see that beautiful $100 bill. It's crisp, it's clean, and yes, money does grow on trees. You will see I have placed the forest in the background. Lots of green energy, emeralds, wonderful gemstone for having around for your wealth okay <clears throat> now what we're going to do in this video is get grounded first of all and then i'm going to read um from my awesome wealth and abundance uh set of cards here and for each and every sign we're going to start with the water sign the water signs are very intuitive all right, my sign happens to be the most intuitive of all, which is a sign of cancer, and I'm on the cusp of cancer and Leo. So not only am I crabby, as they say, um, but I have a lion inside of me, which roars out. So I will be calm and fluent until I burst. And then the lion comes out and I roar the truth, okay? So I don't hold back um, on what I have to share with people. So you'll have to um, get a hold of that uh, when you get to this channel. You're going to like to manifest new things in your life every single day. Now, the first card that I pulled... I'm going to um, share that with each and every one of us. Um, that is an awesome affirmation that we can ask ourselves out loud. So I'm going to read it and then I want you to state the statement out loud yourself. And then we're going to begin with grounding and I'll go into the reading. So this card that came up first and for everyone. Um, says, what if everything was always working out for me? Ask yourself that out loud right now. What if everything was always working out for me? And I just didn't see it. I didn't know it. So I was upset, right? And that's what happens when we don't ask that certain question. What if everything was always working out for me? All right. So then we are not living in the past. We're living right here, right now. Now on this card, it says, when you play the what if game, look for things that make you feel better. There is never a situation in which there is not a way out. But out of habit, most people continue to choose the lack perspective until they eventually find themselves where it seems that there are no more choices. But as you hold to your intention 
to look for evidence of well-being and thriving and success and happiness, you will tune yourself to the vibration of those things. And so those kinds of good feeling experiences will dominate your life. So we need to tune ourselves to the vibration of that which we would rather experience. How do we do that, right? We work with someone like me who will share with you what I have been using for years and it's always worked. I have subliminal um, programming for each and every situation in everybody's life. And you can find me on uh, Telesummits every single month. Uh, for the most part, I am there. I am on YouTube, all right? Um, you can join um, in with me and listen up for when I'm going to be going live and hop on the calls and grab the packages, um, ask questions underneath the video, share what you have received from today. Now, the first thing I wanna do is get us all grounded. Grounding is very powerful. So going through um, this life, we get ungrounded, right? We get out of alignment. And then we find ourselves in a little bit of struggle. So what we wanna do now is put our feet on the floor and our spine as straight as you possibly can, all right? <clears throat> and um, wow, visualize like your feet are in the soil, the dirt, the sand, whatever's good for you. All right. And I'm going to call in the angels to begin pouring in the liquid gold underneath our feet. So our feet are just sinking into this beautiful molten gold energy, 24 karat gold energy and your feet just feel like they're warming up right now they're being comforted from all the places you have walked throughout your life we're just gonna bring in peace and healing into your feet your toes your ankles we're gonna run this beautiful earth energy and golden liquid energy liquid luck energy up your legs to your knees bringing some healing into those knees that, you know, have been down, up and down throughout your life and maybe gotten a little weak and feeling um, unstable. Let's strengthen the knees right now to the earth. And let's go up the legs to the hip joints and strengthen those hip joints balancing them now bringing in some more healing energy into your hip joints right now balancing that tailbone that root chakra bringing in some fire energy into your root chakra expanding the root chakra <sighs> starting to feel really good it's looking good for you as i'm working on you <clears throat> We're going up into the torso of the body, bringing in some beautiful golden light energy, some orange energy, bringing in some joy, balancing all that stomach energy, clearing out all the stress, the struggle, the strain, the complaining, the anger, anxiety oh. those of you that don't feel complete we're clearing that now you are complete you are important you are somebody and you are powerful and you can digest life with ease and grace I digest life with ease and grace that will be your mantra going up to your beautiful heart we are going to pour in some beautiful green energy and pink energy for healing for you you have been through a lot 
So we're going to bring that in in the front heart and in the back heart. We're going to be removing the past darkness, the hurts, the grief, the pain, the loss, okay, the struggle, the tears, all that irony, drama, karma, bringing in healing, bringing in love and light and gold, like the sun, that color gold is coming into the back to bring in healing light, to clear that all out, so you're no longer living in the past, you're living in the future of right here, right now, as we're working on you. Wow, we're gonna turn you straight forward. Some of you were sitting sideways. Your energy was going sideways. So we're gonna straighten you out, put you back into your body and center you, align you with love and luck in love and romance. Add that in for you right now and bring you joy about friendships, relationships, mm. and make it easy for you to coexist here on this planet at this moment in time, bringing you peace into your heart and harmony, and connecting the heart to the throat to speak your truth, bringing in some beautiful healing energy into the throat, chakra, and into the mouth area and the jaw. Clearing all that and through the spine, healing through the spine, working on your facial expressions, lifting that up. We are working on you right now. Give you a new boost of joy on your face. Clearing the stress, the stress of money. Taking that pounds and pounds of negative feeling, go through all that negative energy. We're healing that negative energy right now. Clearing all the stress, the strain, the struggle, the tiredness, the giving up, and the one listening that was hopeless. We're clearing that, that negative hopelessness. We're bringing in healing for you right now. Lifting up your skin. Going to the third eye and opening it back up. Cracking it open so that you are available for source and the light of truth. To see the light of truth without fear of what it might entail. And that will work on your eyesight as well. So mm, now we're gonna go to your crown. We're gonna crack that crown open right now and send in my vacuums mm, to vacuum out all the negative thoughts and beliefs about yourself and about your um, self-worth and all those negative beliefs that are there for you because everyone's different and unique. And some of those things that are hiding, causing you to struggle, causing you to remain stagnant, afraid of failure. We're clearing all this out right now. And when that's done, it's going to bring you a new mindset, a mindset of peace where you can sleep through the night. Let's have that. There we go. So we're going to keep working on that. I just wanted to do a, an alignment for you. And then we're going to begin now with the uh, first signs here are the water signs that came up first. Um, so I pulled three cards for each group of people. So we're beginning with the water signs here. And um, the three cards that came out are... I have control over the thoughts I think. All right, that's the first card. And the second card is I can transform my own world. And the third card is what do I want and why do I want it? Makes a lot of sense and they all seem to align and go together. So the first card I pulled is 
I have control over the thoughts I think. And um, the reading on the card is since you have control over what thoughts you offer, what could be more just than the powerful law of attraction, responding equally to everyone who offers a vibration? Once you gain control over the thoughts you think, your sense of injustice will subside and will be replaced with exuberance for life and the zest to create that um, with which you were born with. So you will have the zest for creating what you were supposed to. Let everything in the universe be an example to you of the way of the law of the universe. So the thoughts that you are thinking about your um, abundance, your wealth, have a lot to do with what you are manifesting right now. So working with me, we can clear all that and get you into the harmony with what your soul really requires and what you would rather experience. And that's why I'm here, okay? So the next card is I can transform my own world. Of course I can, I'm doing it every day, how about you? Make a list of positive aspects. Make a list of things you love and never complain about anything because the universe will take it away. Watch your tongue, okay? Mm -hmm. And as you use those things that shine bright and make you feel good as your excuse to give your attention to and be who you are, you will tune to who you are and the whole world will begin to transform before your eyes it is not your job to transform the world for others but it is your job to transform it for you yourself a state of appreciation is pure connection to source where there is no perception of lack so when you get in alignment with source there is no lack there never was and that is only the mindset keeping us stuck. So we're working on clearing them. Negative beliefs and negative thoughts, all right? And negative actions or non-actions, all right? <clears throat> and make a list of what you love and enjoy and what you would love to experience. And then you can add in the affirmation, right? What if? And fill in the blank right yeah <laughs> everything always works out for me great affirmation the third card what do I want and why do I want it see we got to make a list of what we love and then right what do I want and why do I want it the universe wants to know what you want and why you want it all right what you're gonna do with the wealth and abundance, all right? It has to be done um, in a positive way. Use it in a positive manner. Share it, okay? Um, so here we go. When you acknowledge what you do not want and then ask yourself, what is it that I do want? You begin a gradual shift into telling of your new story and into a much improved point of attraction. You get the essence of what you think about, whether you want it or not. Hear that? So what you think about, you're gonna get it. What you speak about, it's gonna manifest. All right? Whether you want it or not. Because the law of attraction is consistent. Therefore, you are never only telling the story of how it is now you are also telling the future experience that you are creating right now so what would you love to experience ask yourself that write it down dear universe all right um, write one of those letters to the universe 
or dear God, all right, depending on your belief system. So for the water signs, right, make a list of what you want and be very specific and then tell the universe, this is what I'm going to do with that, all right, and then get your um, vibration in tune with receiving, believing it so much without a doubt and you will start seeing that manifestation in your life look at the hundred dollar bill on the screen remember what i said in the beginning my intention is to see that each and every one of you including myself manifests at least a hundred dollars in one way or another this month Maybe it will come in as well as um, your bills will go down, you know, and you can get coupons or you get into a store and um, something's less than it said, something like that. The universe is going to bless you in a different way just because you are in my video channel with me in the vibration together and we are also aligning ourselves with that vibration of receiving the next sign here is um the earth signs okay the earth signs are mm, very like um mm, go 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 energy a lot and um you know they're out and about all right, and you can figure that one out, right? The water signs love to be around the water. Very intuitive. Um, you can't really put anything over on a water sign. All right, they'll either have dreams or they'll see a visualization, um, receiving messages constantly. The earth signs are more... Um, mm, what I would say is busy beavers, right? They uh, come and go, you know, they're always going. Um, that's just what I pick up from them. Now the three cards I pulled up for the earth signs are, here we go. I can give my attention to the positive aspects. See, they, they're always going in what they feel is positive directions for them, okay? Um, <clears throat> shortages of time or money are perpetual. Uh, third card, I want to harmonize with my desire. So see what I'm saying with the earth sign here, they, they are go, 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 and um, a lot of the times it seems like it's all about them, all right? And um, that's just the vibration I pick up. Um, now, <clears throat> the first card here, I can give my attention to the positive aspects. So they don't like drama, all right? So if you're an earth sign, you are probably resonating with what I am bringing up here. All right, um, things are coming into your experience in response to your vibration. Your vibration is offered because of the thoughts you are thinking. And you can tell by the way you feel what kinds of thoughts you are thinking. Find good feeling thoughts and good feeling manifestations must follow. Make a decision to look for the best feeling aspects of whatever you must give your attention to. And otherwise look only for good feeling things to give your attention to and your life will become one of increasingly good feeling aspects. So see, that resonates with what I just said. They are going in the direction where they feel good, all right? They don't want no drama. Uh, they will ignore any drama, all right? Uh, that's just the way they are. The earth doesn't want drama either. It will spew the thing out like a volcano when it gets um you know too much negative energy the volcano erupts 
right, and burns everything to ashes. And that's basically what an earth sign does, all right? Um, they just keep going forward, all right? Um, now, the next thing is shortages of time or money are perceptual. All right, the reading for this. If you are feeling a shortage of time or money, your best effort would be to focus upon better feeling thoughts and do more things that make you feel good. Your time is a perceptual thing, and even though the clock is ticking the same for everyone, your alignment affects your perception, as well as the results that you follow. As you observe the enormous difference, differences in the effect that people apply, uh, the results um, they achieve, you have to conclude that there is more to the equation of achieving than action alone. Very serious message there for you earth signs. All right, the third card, I want to harmonize with my desire. See, their intention is to harmonize with their own desire, okay? Um, anytime you feel negative emotion, stop and say, something is important here, otherwise I would not be feeling this negative emotion. What is it that I want? And then simply turn your attention to what you do want. In the moment you turn your attention to what you want, the negative attraction will stop. And in the moment the negative attraction stops, the positive attraction will begin. And in that moment, your feeling will change from not feeling good to feeling good. This is a process of pivoting. So they seem to um, be able to bounce out of negative things that are happening. They'll think it through for a minute or two, and then they'll say, what is it that I really do want, all right? And they will go into a positive mindset, come back to their bubbly selves. Um, that's just the way it is. So the next sign here is the fire signs, okay? Whew. Fire signs are very dramatic a lot of times. They like to investigate things, find out what's going on under the scenes, behind the scenes, right? That's how they are. All right. So for my lovely fire signs, here we go. Your three cards that I pulled are money is not the root of evil or of happiness. See, they investigated it. <laughs> now, I am developing the skill to direct my thoughts, okay? And then the third card is, I am a vibrational being in a vibrational universe, which we all are, but this is for my lovely fire signs. The first card, money is not the root of evil or of happiness, it just is. This important subject of money and financial success is not the root of all evil, as many have quoted, nor is it the path to happiness. So when you are able to successfully control something like the subject of money that affects most of you all day, every day, you will have accomplished something rather significant. For not only is it certain that your financial success must improve, but the evidence of that success will then prepare you for deliberate improvement in every aspect of your life experience. Mm, very powerful message there, fire sign. Whoops. I am developing the skill to direct my thoughts. You do not have to have money to attract money. But you cannot feel poor and attract money. The key is you have to find ways of improving the way you feel from right where you stand before things can begin to change. By softening your attention to the things that are going wrong and by beginning to tell stories that lean more in the direction of what you want instead. 
mm, of in the direction of what is currently happening. Your vibration will shift. Your point of attraction will shift and you will get different results. So the key here is to find ways of improving the way you feel right now. And um, begin telling yourself that you have more than enough. All right. And the universe is always taking care of you, which is the truth. I am a vibrational being in a vibrational universe. You live in a pulsating, vibrating universe of advanced harmonics. Everything that exists in your air, in your dirt, in your water, and in your bodies is vibration and motion. And all of it is managed by the powerful law of attraction. There is nothing that exists outside of this vibrational nature. And as you learn to accept your vibrational nature and begin to consciously utilize your emotional vibrational indicators, you will gain conscious control of your personal creations and of the outcomes of your life experience. So there's nothing that exists outside of this vibrational nature. And you learn to accept your vibrational nature, okay? And when you do that, you can see and feel into what vibrational thoughts you're having. And when you calm your mind, your body, your spirit through breathing exercises, you can bring in a more positive vibration for yourself. Because being of the fire energy, um, you have the sense to, like I said, investigate things. You want to control things. And if you want to control things, it begins with controlling your vibration. You are fire, okay? Fire is basically burning things, okay, in its path. So what you're working on in your life is to burn out the negative things, okay? The negative thoughts, the negative uh, environment around you, all right? And bring in your positive vibration for you things that you enjoy you investigate yourself and how you're feeling all right and that will help you a lot fire signs the last one is air and as you know air we go right to the head right air air is where we breathe right out of our nose and our mouth right air so air signs to me are people that just kind of go with the flow, all right? They're, they're calm at times, and then they can blow off their steam, all right? They uh, will help to a certain point, you know? Um, that's just the way they are. So, you know, no judgment here. I'm just saying air. Air, you know, blows. It comes like the wind, you know what I'm saying? So that's how they are. Um, they like maybe a job and they stick to it, all right, or a business, they stick to it, and that's what they do, one thing, you know, and do it well. Um, they always like to, mm, you know, lift their self up, we'll say like that, all right, they do that for themselves. Uh, tell a good story. You know, like fishing stories or hunting stories or how this thing works. They got to explain it to you. That's how they are. I've hung out with all these signs, okay, and um, can, you know, dive right deep into their uh, soul essence, so to speak. So um, the cards that I pulled up for uh, the air signs, okay. The three cards are 
the subject of money is really two subjects. You see how they want to, you know, help us learn about it. And my attention to it invites the essence of it. And the third card, I can deliberately choose to feel better now. So the first card being the subject of money is really two subjects to the air sign, okay? The subject of money is really two subjects. Money, plenty of money, and absence of money. Not nearly enough money. Often people assume that because they are speaking the words, I want more money, they are speaking positively about money. When you are feeling fear or discom discomfort as you speak, you are not speaking of the subject of money. You are speaking of the subject of not enough money. And the difference is very important because the first subject brings money and the second holds it away. So for the air sign, um, for you, you believe there are two um, energies of money for you. So more money, okay, is uh, what you are receiving right now, okay? I'm going to send that energy to you, all right? Um, now, the words on here, I want more money, um, to me, are negative because it's saying lack. So I would like to change those words to something more positive. Like, I receive more money every day in my business or in my job, okay? That will be for you. I always receive money, all right? More money, better money, okay? Things like that. The second card, my attention to it invites the essence of it. See how it goes right in order? <laughs> Anything you are giving your attention to is an invitation to the essence of it. Saying, I want money, but it will not come is the same as saying, come to me, absence of money, which I do not want. See, here we go, how they are right in order. The universe did this, not me, okay? <laughs> wow. When you are thinking of money in the way that will make it come to you, you always feel good. When you are thinking of money in the way that keeps it from coming to you, you always feel bad. That is how you know the difference, all right? Hmm. So, let's work on that beautiful air sign. If you're having trouble with um, the absence of money in your experience, all right? Thank you, universe, that money always comes to me. All right? Real simple. Write it down. Make a gratitude list air sign. All right, here comes the third message for you. I can deliberately choose to feel better now. Maybe you haven't felt better physically or mentally. Um, we're going to send healing to you. All right. As you look for a better feeling, way to approach whatever you are giving your attention to, as you continue to ask yourself from your ever-changing vantage point, what is it that I do want? Eventually, you will be standing in a very pleasing place. For you cannot continually ask yourself, what it is that you do want without your point of attention beginning to pivot in that direction. The process will be gradual, but your continued application of the process will yield wonderful results in only a few days. So like I said, what is it that you do want? All right, let's focus on that. I don't even like the word want, um, but that's what we're going to use right now. So what is it that you do um, desire uh, to experience more of in your life? Let's have that for everyone listening right now. All right. Now, knowing that this was um, a card reading, all right, and it is not to be taken like um, so serious that you get angry at the messenger. All right. So right now, focus on the $100 bill on the screen and the beautiful emerald green color, the energy of that beautiful forest. 
and where we are planting our vibrational thoughts right now. We're going to plant our thoughts right on that $100 bill. Focus on it right now for just a few minutes. And I want you to visualize yourself having that $100, feeling it in your hands. Focus on that right now. How does it feel in your hands? How does that paper feel? Crispy, brand new, a brand new vibration energy come into you right now where you are able to feel the money. Allowing it to come to you. Now you can smell the money. I want you to close your eyes. If you can visualize with your eyes closed that $100 bill and taking that $100 bill and putting it right in your wallet. And smiling and saying, thank you. I have an extra $100 bills. $100 bill right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let me know how that manifests in your life, okay? We're going to start with 100. Um, and I will come in with another video behind this one to advance us, okay? And then, um, you know, you can let me know how you are manifesting the money in your life from this video on all right go underneath this video here and um look at the website go check it out the 123manifest.com uh gonna be shifting that a little bit when i get to it in the next month coming up all right this month's been a really busy for me manifesting brand new things in my life exciting things um and that's the energy of this year, 2021, is to move forward quickly, okay? Those remaining sitting still stagnant are going to need a boost from um, the universe to kick you forward. So we're not sitting down here, okay? We are moving forward with the energy, the flow of the universe, okay? Moving forward, getting excited for new things. Uh, some of you may be looking into higher education this year, which is great. Um, and a lot of people are receiving new opportunities for better employment enjoyment. Okay, so let me know how this video has helped you. Um, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Namaste.